Hi friends, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create sticker sheets for digital planners or GoodNotes. And what you need to know first is that there are two types of sticker sheets. Those that are cropped and uncropped sticker sheets. So let me quickly show you an example of what a cropped sticker sheet is. So here I am in the GoodNotes application and I'll go back and open a template I just did before. So here you see four random stickers and they all have been cropped. So what this means is that I can select the lasso tool up here and then circle it and then click on it and click on copy for example. And I can click on a different planner, for example this one here. And then I can insert it by clicking on paste and here it is. And then I can also resize it, make it bigger or smaller. So let me go back. So these are um, cropped stickers. You can also select them and then drag them to any place. However, in order um, to be able to do this, you first need to crop all the stickers. And this is where things get a bit more complicated. So now that you know what cropped stickers are, I will show you what uncropped stickers are. So let me go back, back to the planner. And now let's say you just downloaded a sticker sheet. Could be from Planify Pro or from any other website. Um, what you would usually do is click on this plus button so you can import the template or the sticker sheet. So when you click on plus, you have the option to select image and then photo. And usually when you save a sticker sheet, your iPad it usually goes into photos. So here I have a sticker sheet that looks like this. You see it has a transparent background and then on top are the sticker elements. Now this is called an uncropped sticker sheet. So no stickers have been cropped like I can select this lasso tool and then draw around the sticker and then try to copy it. This doesn't work. What now happens if I paste it, is it just paste the whole entire sticker again. Now what you will have to do with these sticker sheets is that you will have to select it and then you will have to crop the sticker. So let me quickly import it again. So back to image, photo, and then let me insert the sticker sheet from before. So right now when I click here, it will it will pull up the option of cropping it. So crop, click on crop. So from here, you now have the option to select a sticker you want to insert into the template. So it can, for example, be this moon or this flower. And if you have any odd shapes, for example, this bird here and the rectangle tool doesn't really work to select just this bird, what you can do is also select freehand and then draw a line around the bird like this. And then once you have it, click on done. And then here is the sticker. And as well with this sticker, you can drag it to any place you want on the planner. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. So this is how you can select stickers from an uncropped sticker sheet. So let me do it one more time for you to see when you click on this plus button and then go to image and then go to photo, you see the option to import your sticker templates if you have saved them to your iPad. And then once imported, you will have to click on crop. And then from here, you can freehand select any sticker and draw around it, then click on done. And this is how you import a sticker from a sticker sheet that has been uncropped. So now that you know what cropped and uncropped stickers are, we can go to Planify Pro and try to export a sticker sheet for GoodNotes. So if you go onto the hub page and you scroll all the way down, you see a sticker selection. So I will take uh, one of these sticker sheets as an example for this video. So let me select, for example, um, this work sticker sheet here. So click on it and then it will load up this sticker. And once you're happy with this sticker, um, we can move on to exporting it. 
Now before I move on to exporting the sticker, I first need to let you know that it is best if all sticker sheets have a transparent background. This is so that um, the stickers don't have a white background attached behind them. So I always recommend you whenever you're creating a sticker sheet for GoodNotes is to have it in on a transparent background. So to do that, you can go to Pattern and then um, go to the first tab you see right here and then click on Transparent and then also select to have it full so the transparent pattern applies to the whole page like this and now you see that the, the background of the template is the same color as the background of this create page. And this is when you know that you have the transparent background applied correctly. So then from here, go to save export. And then you want to click on digital and then select on single or double. Both is fine and then click on generate PDF. And now it will generate you a PDF file and it will also create you a PNG file, which you can use to import into GoodNotes. So you see here that you have the option to click to download the PDF or the PNG screenshot. So click on PNG screenshot. And now we have the PNG file of the sticker sheet. And then you can save it to your iPad and sometimes you can find the saving button up here when clicking on this icon. In my case, I don't see it. So, so you can also click down on a template for a long time until this option here pops up and then you can click on save image and this will save it to your photos on your iPad. So if I now go to photo, you see that it's right here. And it is in a black background because the background has no color. So that's why it's showing um, a black background. So now let me go back and then into good notes. And now you can import it photos and you see it's up here, this first image. And now the sticker is here. And then from here, you can click on crop and then you can crop any sticker you want to use, for example, this plant here. Done. And there you go. So if you're a seller and you're selling the sticker sheets, you can also just sell the uncropped sticker sheet. So um, what you just did here, this file here, for example, with the transparent background in PNG format can be sold to the customer. However, you will have to tell the customer that this is an uncropped sticker sheet and that they will need to crop the stickers themselves. Now, let's say you would like to create sticker sheets that are cropped for your customers. Um, what you would need to do from here is open a new blank template. So click on plus and then click on create notebook and then plain paper and then click on create and it will also append you this notebook cover here. But if you don't want this notebook cover here, you can click on this uh, rectangle icon up here and then click on edit, select it and then click on trash, move one page to trash. And this will only show you um, this one page you have in the file. So now that you have a blank canvas, you can add all the crop stickers on top of this canvas and then export it in a GoodNotes format. So let's say from here you want to create um, this sticker sheet we have here just in a cropped format. What you will do is go to image, photo, select the very first file and then go to crop and then select the sticker done and then place it on the paper and you will have to repeat this step for each and every single sticker and this can be very time consuming and I've tried looking up for some tools online that maybe could help in this process or maybe make it faster. But unfortunately, there are no tools available 
at this point that will help you crop the, um, the stickers. It might take some time to crop each and every single sticker, but this is how you would create um, cropped sticker sheets. By the way, if you also want to have this text up here that says work sticker sheet, you can also crop that text. You can also select rectangle and crop it like this. You can also insert it up here. So now you have like a header for your stickers. Let me add one last sticker. Okay, so I will not complete the whole sticker sheet because it takes a lot of time. But let's say, let's just assume I just finished the sticker sheet and I now would like to use this template and sell it on Etsy. So what you will have to do next is export this sticker sheet by clicking on this uh, three dots up here on the right side, then go to export and then click on export current page or all pages, export current page. And then make sure the GoodNotes format is selected and then click on export and this will export you this template in a GoodNotes format. So let me quickly select where to save it. Okay. So let me save it to the iPad. Let me go back. And now let me open my folder. And it's this one here. So let me open it up in GoodNotes. One second here. And then import it. And here it is, um, Notebook 4. So when I now click on it, open it up, you see that by having the lasso tool now selected, I can click on it, select it like this, then move it around and then also copy it and insert it somewhere else. Like this. So this is how you can create crop sticker books. And yes, they are more labor intensive and you might need to just sit down and spend an hour cropping the images. But this is how you would create cropped sticker sheets or else if you don't have the time to crop all the stickers, you can also just offer the uncropped version and have your customers crop the stickers themselves. However, I would recommend you to tell your customers if you're selling them that the stickers are uncropped so they know they have to crop them themselves. Usually most sellers on Etsy would provide pre-cropped sticker sheets so the customer doesn't have to crop them but that is all up to you. You can sell both files. You can also just sell the uncropped versions. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook, and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye.